Hey, uh, good afternoon. Uh, I was going to leave this morning. Uh, Mr. Michael Needs came up here. Asked me when I was going to move. I told him I'm going to probably be moving tomorrow or no later than Saturday. So I've uh, been looking, man. I sent some things out on, uh, you know, uh, house, to, house discrimination to a couple of places. Uh, been looking, man. Uh, you know, the air pollution is so bad outside, man. You can feel that carbon monoxide outside, man. These motherfuckers are definitely is running, uh, you know, trucks and everything in that in that uh, gas station or out front of this building. For real, I just opened up opened up the window. I was like, damn, that's a lot of uh, carbon monoxide, and they flying up, and you can hear the uh, you know cars going up and down. So let you know, man. These people are like over in this neighborhood, sick. Uh, you know, flat out uh, crackheads, man. Flat out crackheads, man. Breaking into your apartment, stealing stuff, man. I had to check out, see how much money you know I had. It was about right. Uh, other things, look for other documents. Gone. The document they gave me that asked me to move, uh, it's gone. I know where I put it at. Uh, the document for uh, you know signing. For the uh, you know having the stove checked uh, like four months ago, it's gone, man. So Ben said that. So uh, you know, uh, got a video of this lady uh, checking the stove, man. She did she did a very poor job, and uh, you know none of the pilot lights worked for real. I can try to do it again, man. Here, uh, you know, uh, you know the storage on my phone is completely always full. And plus, I'm supposed to have storage, uh, you know, on the phone, for real. So, that's what, like I said, don't buy no products in the United States. Not going to buy this Apple, no no more Apple phones, man. It's flat out too much government and too much, uh, you know, corruption in Apple, man. That's why they tell you, uh, when you go to settings, cut off uh, Apple ads and a lot of stuff you don't need. Because it make the phone run better. So, uh, like I said, man, don't buy nothing in the United States, man. I especially GM. Don't buy no GM car, period, man. Like I said, go with that uh, Asian Tiger or Asian product, man. The car is safer, man, for real. You look at it, man, put it this way. It's always in the garage, always out front, always in the shop, man. Uh, out front because they want to sell it to get rid of it, man. It's a jalopy. It's a death trap, man. Look at any of the, uh, you know, auto for, uh, automotive uh, news, man. It's a death fucking trap. For real. You look at the Asian car, uh, you know, uh, makers, man. You want to survive a crash, you better buy one of those Asian cars. For real. It's a fucking death trap. It's the worst of all the American cars, man. For real. So, uh, you know, just letting you know, man. Just let you know. It's ridiculous over here, man. And especially, man, these motherfuckers are, like I said, you too. If you want to stay in Detroit, it's a slum. <laughs> slum, my mother even said it was a slum. Uh, it's, uh, you know, she lived up here. Uh, she's not even originally from here. Man. She lived up here. And told me when I went back down, said, don't come back. You're doing good. Uh, it's a slum. Came back and it's a fucking slum. Even worse, it's back to the Kavanaugh years, for real. Of, uh, you know, crooked police, uh, stress police, mafia, and, uh, you know, crooked, crooked government, period. Uh, crooked uh, city government, period. <coughs> so, um, you know, peace. And the air pollution is terrible in Detroit. Peace.